any Baha'i anywhere in the world is being mistreated, abused, or their rights are violated, I want my voice to be heard. I would like to uh, say directly to the government of Iran that I'm willing to do all that I can to support my precious brothers and sisters of Baha'i faith and that as citizens they ought to have rights and liberties that are protected, they ought to be able to attend schools, they ought to be able to live lives of decency, and they ought to be able to come to America or any other place if they so desire. They should be ashamed of themselves that on the one hand they would talk about the passion for the oppressed as in Palestine, in the West Bank. I can appreciate a compassion for the oppressed in the West Bank. I hear it from the President right around all the time. This compassion he has for the oppressed in the West Bank and Gaza. I hear that. Absolutely. What about the same kind of compassion and attention to the Baha'i brothers and sisters in Iran itself. Let's make sure that our compassion is morally consistent and spiritually mature. Why be so selective? That's hypocrisy. That's double standards. Any religious faith that is serious about loving others is going to suffer a certain level of degradation, isolation, targeting, persecution, and mistreatment. And I, and I think the history of the Baha'i faith is the history of a people at their best who have been willing not just to give lip service to abstract notions of tolerance, but actually to bear witness with their hearts, minds, and souls, and bodies to compassion for others across the board. We have to, in the end, have the same universal, all-embracing vision of the sanctity of persons and each and every one of us as part of the human family that the Baha'i Faith has been putting forward for a long, long time. We want the world to know that their destiny is inextricably connected to our destiny here in the United States. And I say that as a Christian, I say that as a professor at Princeton, I say that as a writer, I say that as a freedom fighter, and I say that as one who loves the rich history, past and present, of Iran as a country. I just want it to be free and democratic. Because I've always thought that the, anybody who's really committed to uh, an ethos of love ought to be a militant for tenderness and a fanatic for fairness and a uh, extremist of love and a drum major for justice, the way Brother Martin King talked about it. See? Uh, and I see that at work in the rich prophetic traditions of a Baha'i faith. That's part of the grounds of my profound respect for Baha'i.